It doesn't happen often, but sometimes you may come across problems and issues with Alexa or Amazon Echo. We have identified eight common problems and issues that you can face with Alexa, Echo, and other Amazon Alexa devices. The first common issue that can occur is Alexa not responding. If you notice that when you say your Alexa wake word, your device is not responding, then there are a few common issues that may have caused this problem. We recommend that before you even start to troubleshoot, you should check for a few basic things. Ensure that your device is powered up and that the cable is connected to a socket and powering your Alexa device. Next, make sure that your internet is on and Alexa is connected to it. The simple issue might be an Alexa device that is unplugged or switched off at the socket or the internet not working. Next, check for the color of the light bar on the Alexa device. It should be blue. If it is red, that means the microphone of the Alexa device has been turned off. You will need to turn on the microphone by pressing the microphone button on top of the device. Also, if you have more than one Alexa devices, then the problem may be that the wrong device has responded to your wake word. This problem should not occur as Alexa devices use a special technology called echo spatial perception that enables the device closest to you to respond. If the incorrect echo device does respond, the first thing to do is to check the Alexa app and there you need to make sure that all the Alexa devices are set up on one Amazon account. You may have some response problems if one Alexa is set up with your Amazon account and another one is set up on another family member's account. The next thing that you can do is to move the Alexa device that you want a response from closer to you. Now say the wake word again and see if the right device responds. If the wrong device responds despite moving the right one closer to you, then an option that you can explore is changing the wake word for one of the Alexa devices. The next Alexa issue we are looking into is when Alexa plays your music on the wrong device. If you ask an Alexa device to play music and you realize that another Alexa device, maybe in another room, starts to play the music, then you are having an Alexa grouping problem. This is a problem that arises out of the manner in which Alexa devices are grouped. In some cases, the defaults of the grouping get mixed up and confused and causes Alexa to send the music to the wrong device. Essentially, Alexa sends the music to any device in its grouping loop. The simple way to solve this problem is to ungroup all the devices and then group them again. To do this, you will need to open the Alexa app and select devices. Then you need to select the group that you want to solve the problem with. Go to that group and click on Edit, then click on Delete. As soon as you click on the trash icon, it will remove the group. Now you just need to regroup all the devices again. When you are doing this, ensure that no default speaker has been selected. This is important. If you select a default speaker, then the same problem will come up again. The next issue we will resolve is not being able to stream your music on an Alexa device. Before you start to think of serious troubleshooting techniques for this, Please know that the reason this happens most of the time is low internet bandwidth or unstable internet service, which is intermittent and not constant. If that is the case, then you need to fix your internet before anything else. The best way to troubleshoot this issue is to follow these simple steps. Start by turning off any unused device or devices that are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Next, move the Echo device that is having issues closer to the wireless router. Also try and move it away from walls and metal objects and other things that might cause an interference to the Wi-Fi signal. Now turn off the modem and router. Wait for about 30 seconds and then turn on the modem and the router. Now turn off the Alexa device and then turn it back on. This should resolve your streaming problem as long as your internet is working fine. The next issue we will resolve is your Alexa device not connecting to the Wi-Fi network. If you discover that your Alexa device is just not connecting to the Wi-Fi network in your home, you will have to get into Alexa settings. The first thing to do is to check the light on the Alexa device. If it is glowing orange, it means that the device is not connected to the Wi-Fi network. You will have to go into the settings of Alexa, there select Wi-Fi, and then enter the password of your home's Wi-Fi. This is your Wi-Fi connection's password, and you need it to connect anything to the internet. Now turn off your modem and router and wait for around half a minute, then start the modem and router again. Now turn off your Alexa device and then turn it on again. This should get the connection happening once again. 
After your Alexa device reconnects with the Wi-Fi, check if there are any router or modem updates. One of the common uses of an Alexa device is to call through it. If you use your Alexa device like a home phone and are having trouble with the calling, then we have some troubleshooting options for you. First of all, you need to ensure that your Alexa device is connected to the Wi-Fi network and that your Wi-Fi signal is consistent and strong and you have good bandwidth. If you are not being able to call despite having a strong Wi-Fi connection, then here are a few things you can do. If you have added a contact recently, then you should check your contacts on Alexa. The contact may not have been updated by Alexa and may not be included in the device's contacts list. If that is so, just close and reopen the Alexa app. Now in the Conversations tab, check for the contact you have been trying to call. If the contact is listed, then try calling again through your Alexa device. If the call doesn't go through, then check whether or not you have fed in the correct number. If everything is fine, you can try and sign out of the Alexa app and then sign back in so that there is a full refresh. To do this, just go into the Alexa app and select Settings. Here you can choose the option Sign Out. Now sign back in and try making the call. It should have got resolved by now. This is an issue that I myself have faced. You try to add a device, but Alexa can't find it. If while trying to add a new smart home device, you encounter a no device found problem, even though the device is Alexa compatible. In this case, there you can do a few things to resolve it. The first thing is to be absolutely sure that the device is Alexa compatible. You may be mistaken about its compatibility as in, it may be Google Home compatible, but not Alexa compatible or some such thing. If you are sure about the smart home device, then let's get into troubleshooting mode. What you need to do is try and set up the device on your Wi-Fi network by using the app provided by the manufacturer. Install the manufacturer's app and set up the device in your Wi-Fi network. Then go to alexa.amazon.com and try and complete setting up the device there. Then go to the skill for the smart home device on Alexa. Disable the skill for the smart home device and then enable it again. Next, check for updates for the particular device. Now go back to your Alexa device and ask Alexa to discover my devices. This time, you should be able to find the smart home device that you were trying to connect to Alexa. Our next issue is with connecting Bluetooth devices to Alexa. If you have a Bluetooth device and you are having trouble connecting it to Alexa through Bluetooth, then follow these steps. The first step always is to ensure that the device you are trying to connect is Bluetooth enabled and supports Bluetooth connections. Now place the device and your Alexa Echo away from other interferences and closer to each other. Check to see whether your Bluetooth device has enough battery charge or not. It should have enough charge. Now open the Alexa app and choose Alexa devices from the menu. Now select Bluetooth devices and then clear all discovered Bluetooth devices. Now restart the Bluetooth device you want to connect, as well as the Echo device. Once they both have restarted, try and pair your Echo device and your Bluetooth device again. For whatever reason, you may want to completely reset your Amazon Echo device. This is actually the last option when everything else has failed. If you have reached that situation, then here is what you need to do. To reset the Amazon Echo device to its original settings, you have to find the reset button at the base of the Echo device. At this point, you should know that you will need to register the Echo device to your Amazon account and enter device settings all over again to start using it. Press and hold the reset button with either a paperclip or a similar kind of tool. The light band on the device will turn orange and then blue. Then it will turn off completely and then turn back on. After this, when the Echo device turns orange, you will know that the device is in the setup mode. At this point, you will have to connect your Echo device to your Wi-Fi network, and then using the Alexa app, you will have to register it to your Amazon account. This completes the full reset of your Amazon Echo device. We do hope these eight common issues and their fixes for Alexa and Amazon Echo devices have proved helpful to you. Do like, share, and subscribe to Up on Top for more such helpful videos.